last time with Mr. Visions with two Z's. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Visions, with two Z's. And last time you saw me, I crashed the drone. Um, luckily, it wasn't all damaged. Just, you know, broke up with props or whatever. But as you can see, got her all nice and buttoned up. All new props, and she's ready to roll. She's ready to ride. So I took her out for her first flight after the crash and flew beautifully. Um, I might add this video on to this one, but I don't know, I might make another one. I don't, depends on how long this video is. Don't want to be too long. But as soon as I got it back in, of course, I get a notification. DJI has released a new firmware for the Mini 2. So, um, of course, had to go ahead and download it and give it a, give it a little check, checksy, checks a woozy. Oh, that was lame. And it adds some key features that we didn't get on the release and even in the last firmware but the, a couple things that it does address which issues I never saw but a couple things that it does address it addresses an, an abnormal color thing or whatever it was like a little box you see in the upper left hand corner in some panoramas um, I never saw it I tried it could never reproduce it um, also there was some issues with like a, a rare issue with some texture or something appearing in the upper left hand corner in 4k videos which coincidentally was the same location where the um, discoloration would show up for the panoramas. But it was like some texture that would appear in 4K videos. Again, I never saw it neither. I never saw it, never could reproduce it, so maybe I just got lucky. Um, also, increased stability in some scenarios. I think they do that in every firmware. I don't know what that means, but I mean, it's been pretty stable. I don't know what those scenarios are. Um, also, I optimized Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for faster and more stable connection. Um, and as you can see later on, that in the older in the older firmware and the older older DJI Fly version, um, it took a little longer to locate satellites and connect. Whereas with the new one, it was much 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 faster. But the main thing that the firmware adds. It has 48, 50, and 60 frames per second in 2.7K. I wish it was 4K, but no, it adds it in 2.7K. So and now you can actually do slow-mo in 1080p or 2.7, which is huge. Will we get it in 4K? No! But um, also it adds zoom in photo mode. Um, I never paid attention if it had zoom or not because I'm not really a big fan of digital zoom. But it does add the feature for zooming in photo mode. Um, cool. I mean, I could see people wanting to use it, and I could see where it could be useful. I'm just not really a big fan of digital zoom. I never really have been. But, you know, it does get you a little closer to the action, so without actually having to fly into the action. So, I, mean, I could see it being useful. So, when I first did the... Um, when I first did the firmware update, I was still in version DJI Fly version... Ver version. I was still in DJI Fly version 1.2.1 and I noticed that it did not show the um, options for 2.7K and I mean 60 frames per second and 2.7K. So I was and I've been hesitant to update to version 1.2.2 because I wasn't sure how I felt about the new compass. Um, I've seen a couple videos and seen people talk about how the new compass was, you know, not as intuitively, not as intuitive as it was in the older version. So I kind of been hesitant. So I went on this updated to 1.2.2, and lo and behold, bam, right there. So you definitely have to have DJI Fly version 1.2.2, which coincidentally enough, you have to actually go into the app store. And um, you have to go into the app store and select update. It doesn't automatically update. Um, so let's take a look. Let's go ahead. I'm going to um, fire open the, um, the Fly app. And let's take a look at some of these new features. All right. So as you can see, DJI Fly. And we're open. And as you can see already, it's showing that it's connecting 
to 15 satellites. And it was like as soon as I got it open, it was there. And I, and I was like, whoa, that's definitely optimized. So let's see. So first thing first, got it up in the air. And hey, now you can see 2.7, 48, 50, and 60 frames per second, which is cool. Obviously, we're going to take a look and see that, you know, in 1080p still has 50 and 60 and 4K still has the 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. So, a um, couple other things. So, as you see in the lower left-hand corner, that's where the new compass option is. It's, if you pay attention, there's a little option here, right here in the corner. You tap that option once you click on the map and then it brings up the new compass. Um, but we're going to get back to that shortly. So um, here's the zoom um, in photo mode. Wow, it zooms digitally. So I'm going to actually run up here and see if we can take a panel right quick. So shot, brought it up, took a wide angle panel. Um, again, I never saw the issue. And as we can see here, it's still no issue. So um, yeah, I'm good with that. So click on it, upper right hand, see I got 19 satellites, signal is strong, and in my area, I'm in a neighborhood, and it's full of houses with Wi-Fi and all kinds of stuff. So for me to actually maintain, you know, that many satellites and it connect that quick, it was, it was pretty cool. So here's one of the complaints that a lot of people was complaining about with the DJI Fly version 1.2.2 with a new compass, is that you can't really see the orientation of you in relation to the to the drone um, but as you can see I'm going to move it up a little bit so we can get away so it's not stacked from the, on top of the home point but as you can see I'm going to step over away from the home point as you can see the blue dot it shows with a little, the little arrow it shows where I am in relation to the um to the drone so it's there but it's not as clear as it was in version 1.2.2 um there's a zoom again um but i mean other than that it's actually pretty cool um and also you can see the little lines around the arrow it basically is telling you how far you're pushing the the forward and back sticks whatever you call it forward and aft whatever you want to call it i don't know um, tell, tell me in the comment section. I'm pretty sure somebody that knows a lot more about this stuff than I do I can tell you in the comment section. But it's kind of cool. Um, but other than that, if you go in full map mode, you can see that, you know, there's really no change there. It shows all the, um, it shows, you know, the blue dot there and shows in relation to where I am in relation to the drone and that and all. But other than that, I mean... Yeah, it was, um, other than that, it's, you know, it takes a little to get used to, but it's not as bad as everybody made it seem. And plus, in order to get, I think it's worth it to get 60 frames per second in 2.7K. I think it's worth the, um, the change. It just, again, takes a little bit used to it. It's actually, it's actually just like in the old DJI Go app. That's how it was in the DJI Go. So, um, a little bit of enhancements, of course, but... So, you know, if you're used to DJI Go, then you should be used to this. But, yeah, so that's it, y'all. I just want to drop this quick little video. Um, I think I'm going to save the, um, I think I'm going to save footage for um, my first flight to, for the next one. So, until then, y'all, it's your boy, Mr. Visions, with two Zs. I appreciate you all. Thanks for all that. We're at 1,500 subscribers now as of, as of recording this video. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining the ride. And hopefully next year, without this Rona stuff going on, we're going to have some really cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned. It's your boy, Mr. Visions with two Zs. And we out.